What's that? I spy something gorgeous. Let's follow the clues to find out. What's up, Nail Geeks, and welcome to another Monarch Lacquer video. This time we have the theme, uh, A Night of Mystery. This is inspired by those wonderful, uh, one of my bucket list items of the murder mystery dinners. There's actually one in Houston that is not too far from me and I've always wanted to go. So it's really cool to see a collection based off of this theme. And these are so stunning if you are a shimmer, just straight shimmer lover like myself. So let's follow the footsteps. Let's take our notes and let's check out what they look like. First up is Crimson Clue. This is a juicy red base with red to orange to green shimmer. The green is more subtle, as states in our PR notes. You're going to see it in the bottle, but not quite on the nail. I do agree with that description that the green shift is pretty non-existent. Um, but what you're mostly going to see in person is that strong orange cast. You'll see it in my macro shot in just a moment. For opacity, I'm going to suggest two to three coats, depending on your nail length. Of course, at the time that I'm swatching these, or really in general for this month, I am rocking a longer nail and I thought three light to normal coats was perfect for me. This does dry down a touch on the flat side, so I think honestly any top coat is perfect. This is so glorious in person, and reds typically give me trouble when it comes to color accuracy on photos, so please refer to the actual swatching portion of the video for color accuracy. And next is Golden Deception. This is a chocolatey brown with golden shimmer. It is my top pick in the collection, and just hear me out, I know it's a brown, I'm not a fan of brown polish and I'm not really a fan of black polish either. And I've mentioned that before, but this is really interesting. It's got this nutty brown sort of look to it. And when you build it up to opacity, it's really glowy. And I appreciated this on a cool toned base of brown. It's just, it's different. I don't know how to describe it. At angles and shaded lighting, again, you'll see this on my macro shot in a moment. There's going to be this like really lovely type of golden orange cast to it. It's a touch subtle in person, but it's just really, truly wonderful. This is a brown that I would strongly recommend, and I don't typically recommend browns very often. I loved this one. I think two to three coats is perfect for opacity, depending on the length of your nails. It does dry down flat, so I would suggest a good glossy top coat. And next is Culprit's Charm. This is described as a medium hued orchid with strong teal blue violet shimmer. So this one has a straight, soft, lighter type of formula. It's really delicate. So I think if you have even a slightly prominent free edge, you'll absolutely see your visible nail line. So lots of versatility because it's got that jelly base, but it's gonna really pop depending on how you choose to wear it, whether it's a blurring base or with an undie or by itself. If you choose to wear it by itself, which of course is as it's intended, I would suggest three coats and don't worry about going too light because of the shimmer. It dries down very easy and very lovely. This is a bit of a chameleon on my swatches. It's pulling quite warm in terms of color accuracy. Just refer to the actual swatching portion. And next is Emerald Alibi. This is a dark, cool toned green jelly with jade plum chroma shift and scattered hollow. This has a ton of depth to it. And I think across the board, regardless of your nail length, I think three coats is perfect. I started off quite a bit on the sheer side or just going in real light on that first coat. And then the second and third coat, I went in what I considered normal for myself. If you have super nubbins, I'm still gonna suggest going up to three coats, but just go in very, very light. It's very much worth it on that third coat for the payoff. It's so sparkly and indoor lights or dimmer sort of lights, you're gonna get this wonderful purple shift from the shimmer. Now I had no issues in terms of texture or thirstiness from those scattered hollow flecks. I think they're more like light flakes in my opinion. So honestly, I think any top coat's gonna be perfect. And next is Midnight Whispers. This is a grape purple base with various chroma and aurora shimmers to give an interesting effect. When I uh, was reading our PR information, Adrian gave us a little bit of background info on this one, and she said she mixed a bunch of different shimmers to get this effect. And I think it's really cool because it starts off like it's gonna look a certain way, like on that first coat, and then by the third coat, I was pleasantly surprised. It just takes on this vampy, but really ghostly sort of look. So I'm gonna suggest going up to three light coats on this. The formula is on the heavier side because it is it's just so packed full of shimmer. 
that you're going to want to prevent any sort of potential streaking with it. And also because of that, it will dry down thirsty and just really, really flat. So I would suggest a good plumping glossy top coat. P.S. Monarch's plumping gel like top coat is phenomenal if you do not have one. And finally, we've got smoke and mirrors. This is described as a smoky reflective glitter with red shimmer. I know it's a bit of a shocker that this one was not my top pick in the set that I liked a brown over a blue and it's just it's weird like that. And I'm not saying that in any negative tone for smoke and mirrors. This is truly lovely and very unique in person. The way it builds up, the shimmers are very much on the larger particle size. So it's almost like the way that the base keeps it scattered. It's just it's hard to describe, but my full hand shot gives you a really good idea of it. This one has a ton of a bouncy feeling and very squishy. So you want to go in light on your coats to prevent any over buildup or possible dragging because of the shimmer. This does have a bit of thirstiness and texture because of the reflective glitters. Let your previous coat dry down so that you'll see the texture before going into your next coat and then finish with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat and you're good to go. And lastly, we have the Willet Topper segment. This is where I use a black swatch tip to determine if a polish is going to pop over black, because if it pops over the darkest color, it's going to pop over probably other colors, giving you extra versatility and ways to use your polishes. So we know this collection is shimmer filled and it's going to be awesome. So I figured I'd start off with our little bit of an outlier emerald alibi. Touch surprised here. Our alibi looks fantastic and it's really vampy over black. Golden Deception looks beautiful. I think this looks fantastic over black and I think it's going to look really cool over gray. Midnight Whispers looks beautiful. No surprise here. Remember, this is a mix of different Aurora pigments and shimmers and all that. So it's going to look great over any color. Smoke and Mirrors looks really, really cool. Remember, this is going to have a touch of texture. So just be mindful of that when you're using your top coat. And I think it pops really well over pretty much anything. Culprit's Charm is very similar to Midnight and it's just shimmer filled goodness. So no surprise here, we're going to be able to use this in a lot of different situations. And finally, Crimson Clue actually looks really stunning over black. I was very impressed with this one. And I think there's a ton you can do with this, including not just reds, but also black, as you see here and other really dark colors. And here is our emo shot. Everyone's all somewhat dried down and you can see just how much depth to all the shimmer is in here with a little bit of wiggle action. So the uh, amazing Night of Mystery collection is going to drop this coming Tuesday, September 12th at 2 p.m. Central Time. I'm going to link you guys below to Monarch Lacquer's website in addition to the Facebook group where um, yours truly does do giveaways for gift codes and stuff. So go join that if you haven't and I will happily let you in. And um, yeah, so these are fantastic. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever been to a, a murder mystery dinner or something of the sort. That's definitely on my bucket list and maybe one day I will get to go. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.